Did you know what you perceive is what you believe? And if you're believing something, guess what? You're actually creating your reality. Today, I'm gonna to talk about perception and how to flip the switch on it. So what exactly is perception? Well, perception is actually how you see yourself, just like you see yourself in that mirror. Or maybe I see the back of my now, head. Now, your perception is, interestingly enough, shaped by your values. And here's the interesting thing. We all live by a hierarchy of values, usually our top three, and no two people on this planet have the same set of values, meaning we all see things in a different way. Now, this goes back to the Greeks, talking about living from the telos, which means the highest purpose and meaning that a you know, person has in this lifetime. They actually made a study out of it called axiology, and that is the study of values and worth, realizing that uh, no two people on the planet see things in the same way. It's like a filtering system. So when you're looking at your perception, it's interesting to know that do you see the glass half empty or do you see it So half full? let's take a look at this glass. Is this glass half empty or is it half full? What is the answer? Well, if you said it's half empty, you're right. And if you said it's half full, you're also right. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, Heather, how can this glass be both half empty and half full? Well, that's a great question, you know, because both people are right. They're right because it's according to their highest values. It's like a filtering system. And so if you don't like the half empty glass thinking, you must change the way that you see things. Now, here's the problem. I work with women entrepreneurs and women leaders all around the world. And when I go in there, when I find that they have issues, they can't change things, it's due to an imbalance in their perception. Maybe they're beating themselves up because they lost the deal. Uh, maybe they're beating themselves up because they're using imperative language. I should, I must, I have to. And so what I do is I get in there and I go and ask them specific questions so that they can balance their mind. Did you know if you know the right questions to ask in the exact moment, that you can change your perception. So a lot of times what happens is that people will ask themselves questions like, why does this always happen to me? Why can't I get this to work? And I'm here to tell you, the moment that you start doing that, you actually shut down your brain to find solutions. You actually create more imbalances. When you create more imbalances, that actually change your, it changes your physiology and actually changes your brain chemistry to not find the answers, to not find the solutions that you're most, you know, you're looking for the most. So it's important to have an awareness of what am I perceiving in this moment? And ask yourself a better question. And this goes back to Leonardo da Vinci. He was, uh, a, you probably know, he painted the Mona Lisa and of course many other works, but he's you know most famous for that. But he had this process where he would ask questions. And the beauty of questions, he found that through repetition, he would find the answers. He would find a reoccurring theme and thread. So here's what I want you to do today. I want you to change the way that you're seeing yourself. I want you to change your perception. Start asking yourself powerful questions. Ask yourself, how can I make this work? What is the solution? And I guarantee you, if you start that kind of thinking, you start rewiring your brain, you start finding the answers and see that glass half full.